knocked on the window of the room I'm staying in. And they were, like, freaking out and crying. And I was like, dude, like, this is why I told you not to come. Like, and I felt, like, so horrible and guilty. And, like, I told them to go home. And then after that, my brother was staying at that house. And then he said the same thing. He was like, oh, yeah, at night, someone knocked on the back door. And, like, I didn't see them. And he, like, he wasn't, like, traumatized or anything. But, like... I know stuff like that doesn't matter now because no one's at that house anymore and like I don't think anyone would come here because it's like I live with four dudes <laughs> like that would just be dumb and we're in Texas but like I, I just kind of realized that the fact that it's in the past now and it still bothers me so much to the point where like it affects my ability to like do basic things or even stream that, like, I, I just think, like, maybe it's, like, PTSD or something, which I, I was diagnosed with for other things when I was younger, which I, I guess were, like, stalking-related. The first time I ever had a stalker was when I was 13. My dad found footprints outside my window. <laughs> and, uh... So it's, it's been, like, a long time thing. There were, I didn't really have anything happen from ages, like, I want to say, like, 17 to 21 or 22. But, like, it's, like, a long-running thing that really, like, it's, like, always, like, in the back of my mind, I guess. And then I love being an online content creator. It's not something that I would ever quit. But being in front of so many eyes and sometimes feeling like I'm always being watched is something that, um, I haven't, I'm not always able to handle, I guess, but I, I want to be able to, I want to be a better streamer because I genuinely love, like, feeling like I'm entertaining people and giving people, like, a place where they can relax or feel happier. And, yeah, I don't know. No, I, I don't mean, like, I don't like being watched on stream. I just mean that there's, like... <laughs> I mean, there's some people who go too far, is what I'm saying. But just, like, the average viewer, average cosplay enjoyer, average offline chatter, like, that. there's no reason for that to bother me. That's not what I mean. But, yeah, I have noticed for the past, say, like, two months, my mindset has changed a lot. I used to be a very, like, optimistic person, like, always like, oh, these bad things are happening, but it's gonna be okay. It's been a lot harder for me to have that mindset, which is something that is just, like, I don't feel like myself, I guess. But I do have a lot of good friends here, and I feel like I am very lucky to be in the position I am with the community that I have, which is why I do want to be a better streamer and, like, manage stuff better. Which leads to another thing I wanted to talk about. <laughs> okay, no one misunderstand this or think that I'm, like, upset or, you know, dislike people. We need to talk about the negging meta. Which I know that I started, and 90% of the people who participate are fine. I love the flipped shit. I love when people aren't afraid to joke with me. But some people go too far <laughs> to the point where the chat is just toxic and not welcoming to other people. And uh, I'm not really sure what to do about that because wh when I said that I prefer it over the very overprotective chat, I meant that. But I, I guess... Either way, it's difficult to avoid extremes, like people that are either very protective or people that are just as mean as possible. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we gotta moderate the chat a little. Yeah, sometimes it goes a little too far, like, I don't want it to become 
a toxic, unwelcoming environment. And I I have pretty thick skin, like, I, I can take the flame and stuff, but when it's just constant spam of, like, super hateful-seeming stuff, like, imagine how that is to, like, new people coming in or people who, like, are just chilling. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm talking to you guys about it like this, because I, I like- Oh my god, so cringe! Because <laughs> I like you guys, and I know that most of you just do it because I said that I like it, and I do. But it's going a little too far. <laughs> cringe! <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just want to- I just haven't been happy with my streams lately. I want to be the best streamer that I can be. Like, my my kind of outlook on Twitch and why I've kept going is every- Oh god, my god! I sound so parasocial! Every viewer is someone that- Every viewer that watches a stream, no matter whose stream it is, just wants to, like, be entertained in one way or another. Or chill in one way or another. Even if they don't like the streamer. And I, I just want to, like, you know, be that kind of streamer where people just go to hang out. <laughs> Farming cringe. This is what I was talking about with the negging meta. And now I'm going to ban all of you from my main stream. Yeah, I don't know. And also, uh, what I talked about with <laughs> the main channel stuff, like... I don't know, I talked to some people in OTK about kind of like how I was feeling and they were like, we, we never meant for you to like feel that way where like you feel like you have to pump out hours on stream and stuff, like that wasn't the job that we signed you for, pretty much. And uh, but yeah, I still want to be the best creator that I can be for the OTK community, for everyone in OTK to you know. <laughs> no mandatory hours. I, I still do want to stream more, but they were like, we don't want you to stream if, like, you're feeling shitty. That's why I need to just stop feeling shitty. Yeah, no, I don't know. But if I do, um... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've wanted to talk more about the stalker stuff for a while. Like, I know that there's definitely downsides to opening up about stuff like that online, but for me, if I don't talk about stuff, it just, like, slowly erodes away at me. I already feel a lot better just, like, talking about it to you guys. But yeah. Uh, it was just seeing that on Reddit and being like, oh, like... All this lore stuff happened, and now she's here, and then I'm just being like, they're right. But I am very lucky. I do have amazing friends that I get to hang out with every day, so why do I still feel like this? <laughs> was kind of like what was going through my head yesterday while I was streaming. And then I felt really bad because I made everyone else feel bad. Miz thought I was mad and was like, I ruined your stream. And I was like, no, I'm just the way I am. <laughs> When will I do a Winston cause? It's not happening. Uh, I don't think I'm depressed. I think I I may have um some anxiety disorder. Oh my god, imagine having mental issues. No. It's just like, I don't know. It's just something I, I'm always thinking about, I guess. Because, I mean, so this is... I am basically like in the best position i've been in my life block lsf no the comment wasn't even like negative or toxic and what they said was true and it did at the same time make me thankful because i mean they were right like i am in like the best position in my life and i'm very lucky to be here it just like made me like oh man <laughs> i want to talk about this stuff because yeah like up until recently, the best time in my life where I was happiest was when I bought my house in Kansas because I was like, I finally feel like 
I can take care of myself and do stuff on my own. Like, I'm proud of myself buying that house, moving into that house, hanging out with friends there, and then having to leave was, like, very bittersweet, I guess, because it also... I came here, which was, like, very cool. A lot of opportunities. But, uh... Yeah, it's just been a stressful time. Just overall. But I don't want anyone to think that, like... I, I'm, in a way, glad that things turned out the way that they did with just everything since I started streaming. And I hope that, uh... I can do the best that I can for OTK and for everyone that watches me and just be happy. Did you leave the house you bought within a year? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I moved in- I bought the house in December of 2020 and I moved in January 2021, so yes, I had to leave the house within a year. I still own the house. Uh, I haven't sold it. But it's uh, empty, which my parents were like, that's bad, man. So I, I may just try to rent it out or something, but then I have to hire like a house manager. And I'm like, fuck, man, I have so much going on. I don't want to think about that. But yeah, I mean, I have other stuff going on now because I was also feeling like shitty about not streaming as many hours as I feel like I should be. Which obviously is a very fixable thing, but I kind of talked to Tips about it, and I was like, I want to do more for OTK, like, not just streaming, like, projects, events, stuff like that. And he gave me some jobs to do, which I'm excited about. I mean, stuff besides what I was already working on, like the League Tournament and cosplay stuff, but, uh, yeah, I want to do more on, like, the that side of things. Uh, <laughs> stream more first. I need to cosplay more, man. I mean, Twitch is definitely my biggest thing now, but I don't want to lose touch with uh, all the other stuff that I've built. I'm not gonna lie, it feels awkward cosplaying in a house with like eight people in it at all times. Like, oh my god, they're looking at me. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like, it's not even like people that stare at me when I'm in cosplay or, like, being mean or something. I just hate when I'm in cosplay and people are, like, staring at me. I'm like, do not look at me. <laughs> Please, God. <laughs> I mean, if I- if it were, like, at an event or something, it's like, that makes sense. But when I'm just, like, chilling in my house and they're, like, staring, I'm like, bruh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's so- uh, like when- No, I, I shouldn't say that. At least they match your cosplayers or wear your wigs. <laughs> That's true. I am almost done organizing the cosplay closet for a hat shoe. I do- it does make me happy that the people here show interest in cosplaying, even if it's like Mimi cosplays. It's nice having people that share the same interests. Oh, the next slick cosplay stream. He's gonna be doing stuff with, uh, Moo. She got here earlier today, but I have not seen her. <laughs> yeah, she's here, though. <laughs> but they're just, like, hanging out, I guess. I haven't seen her. But yeah, I was, uh, out of the house for most of the day anyway, so... Is it Michaela coming over next week? Oh, yeah, I think so. I think she's just coming whenever Tyler's recovered and... I don't know, man. It's one of those things where it's like... Everyone mentions it past like, Oh, yeah, so-and-so's coming over, but no one actually knows when. I mean, Slicker's here. There's just so many people here. Ugh. <sighs> Do you think Tyler will ever come? No. Valkyrie? Apparently she is still coming. How's your experience been with Slicker? I actually like him. I think he's funny. He is very, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, he's cool. I mean, I don't know. Has there been anyone I've met here that I don't like? I don't, I don't think so. But yeah, he's cool. Slicker's the only guy that can match Seer's Kraken energy, but they're like different types of energy, I guess. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't- why are you just listing people that I hang out with normally? Or people that I've like not even really met? Pleasing personality likes everyone. I do not have a pleasing personality. Well, I don't know. I mean, there's a difference between- I wouldn't say that, like, I like everyone, but I don't really dislike anyone. There's people that I'm, like, neutral on. <laughs> Start drama now. Um. Shit. Let me think. I do not hate Russell. Yeah, disliking people takes effort, man. <laughs> well, actually, no. There have been people that I've disliked, but it's, um... I mean, they have to do something really whack. Like, there, there's some people from the League community that, that I disliked. There's two people from the League community that I don't like. Like, actually don't like. Uh, one of them is someone that, like, falsely accused another person of sexual assault that's just like so fucking cringe like i'm at like it's just like hits every point man like trying to ruin someone's life and then also making people who actually deal with that shit like look less credible and feel shitty and then also just lying and being an attention-seeking person it just like hits every checkbox and then there's a another there's a guy from the league community who I don't like because he was dating a girl <laughs> and they broke up and in retaliation he he posted her nudes on Twitter. This was in like 2016 and I was like, "Bruh." And this guy was popular for a while. He like fell off now, but I was like, "Oh my god, how?" So those are like the two people from the league community I don't like. <laughs> Thoughts on speedrunners that cheat? I, I've got the summoning salt mine. It's like, don't even- they're ir irrelevant. She hates her stalk- Um, I don't really know anything about most of my stalkers except for one. And yeah, I don't like that guy, obviously. <laughs> most of my stalkers are just like, random dudes online. Except for one that's really bad that I knew f since I was a child, so. Uh, I don't hate Russell. I don't know. There's no- is, please tell me there's not actually an MEO coin. Of course there was- there- no there's not. You're fucking lying. There's no fucking way. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel better after talking about- I mean, it's not even like a productive type of venting. It's just like, I'm glad that people know or whatever. You guys are alright. You're cool, sometimes. What other jobs that tips give give you? Um, it's just like project handling jobs, but I can't say what because it's future events. But yeah, I'm looking forward to future stuff. Like from the us and tips will kill you. Good. You'll end up leaking it soon enough anyway. I mean, it's not like secret stuff exactly. It's just stuff that I want to talk about when it's closer to the actual time. So it's more exciting, you know. 
It's not like stuff that's like, oh no, if I talk about this, it's gonna ruin everything. It's just like ideas that we have. Did you know Tips murdered three unpaid interns? Um, that sounds like him, yeah. When are you gonna make an actual- what does that mean, an actual YouTube video? No, my editor's been doing a good- oh god, actually- Oh man, Miz was looking at my channel and he was like, This is working, but I'm telling you, Emmy, do not go down the same path as me. You will hate it. <laughs> oh. Lamau. <laughs> Lamau, lol, I can't. Come on, dude. The titles are- well, my clickbait isn't as bad as his clickbait, I would say. But it definitely could be worse. I mean, if I were gonna make normal vids, what would I even make? Like, Ludwig-style cr crap? Vlogs? I guess a lot of girl streamers make vlogs. But the thing is, I don't go outside that much. Ludwig-style- I mean, like, the challenges and stuff. You met the Botest sisters in our dating suits too, as per your titles. I did meet the Botest sisters, but not in that video. <laughs> that was funny because we just ran into someone named, like, Alexandra Botez in the game. But I, I have met them. I met them at a... When did I first meet them? I don't remember. But I, I did go to 6th Street with them. And I met them... When, when did I... I don't know. It was before they left. Oh yeah, the one year event. Yeah, you guys know better than me. That was a fun event. I would love if we did more stuff like that, but uh, those type of events are pretty like draining for a lot of people. So I, I don't want to push for it too hard if, if other people involved aren't going to enjoy it. It was draining to watch as well, ouch. <laughs> oh, one second, I got a message. Mario Kart next week, yeah. Okay, so what happened was, um, I was DMing Schlatt, I DMed him like three times over the course of the past week, I was like, hey, we want to do Mario Kart, Miz wants to do his team versus your team, can you do it? He'd be like, yeah, I'll let you know. Uh, and I'd be like, hey, can you do it? He's like, is it at this time? I'm like, yeah, no response. And then finally today, an hour before we're supposed to do it, he's like, I'll do it. And <laughs> I'm like, dude, we're not, we, we can't, it's too late. <laughs> we're not ready. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe next week then. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk- Oh yeah, I forgot he's my name. I actually forgot Schlatt's my neighbor. Uh, I mean, I, I don't hang out with Schlatt. The most I hang out with him is when I go to the office, because he's always at the office. His, his setup's at the office, and he like edits YouTube shit and streams there, so... He's not- but he's not always next door. Smartest OTK TikToker. Well, I'm not gonna harass him. I, I, I think that's just how Schlatt works, like, his scheduling brain, because, um... For... 
Yeah, just like er er any other time we've needed a clip or something, he's always like, I'll get it done, and he doesn't like being nagged about it, and he'll do it like the very last minute. <laughs> but yeah, we just weren't ready this week. So, yeah. <clears throat> we did have the idea that today instead we would just play Friday the 13th, but then, uh, yeah, Lamel. Friday the 13th would be fun. Oh, collab video with each of the housemates. Doing what? Can you explain why it's like the, the Chinese flag? I don't understand this- this joke. Eat Rob meme? But what does it mean? <laughs> Mao equals China. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. I understand now. yeah, anyway, I'm very thankful for the current life I have and want to do what I can to help OTK and stuff. Lost Ark. <laughs> Apparently, we didn't get the tier 4 drops and there was some, some hysteria over that. And I'm like, huh? I'm a league player. Lamau. Is the fishing stream of Sears still happening? Uh, I think so. I don't know. Oh yeah, the chips tier list. DDR- OH SHIT! We- We actually are gonna- Today, me and Miz were like, you know what, they they still haven't done the carpet, but fuck it, we're just gonna set up the machine ourselves. But, uh, I wanted to do my, my scheduled venting to offline chat stream, and he's, like, playing Tetris with Slicker or some shit, I don't know. We wanna be able to exercise, man. DDR is that good cardio. <laughs> Go offline now and set it up. I mean, I don't have much else to talk about, but I think that other people are busy right now. Anyway. Cinex not even here today. No hentai night, man. Cause absolute chaos, Jesus, the chats and flames. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Weebs detected. <laughs> Shit, man. I have anything else I wanted to talk about? I think I pretty much covered all of it. I mean, honestly, I could just rant about my- my tr my stalker trauma for like a long ass time, but that would just be like a loop. So, VIP purge. Um, 
Well, I don't know. How many VIP slots do I even have? I feel like I still have like 50 VIP slots. Maybe we need to just ruin the chat and everyone has a purple badge. <laughs> 20 to 30 slots? Oh god. Uh, we're actually kind of running out then. Wait, 19? Wait, that's not a lot at all. Oh god, I'm gonna have to un-VIP some people eventually. But I have a bunch of people VIP'd that don't come to my channel anymore. Like, uh... I think, like, my mom, dad, and sister all had, like, Twitch accounts that I VIP'd, and they, they just, like, showed up once, and then just, like, never logged in ever again. So, uh... They watch my stream, apparently, like, when they go to dinner and stuff, if I'm live. Probably not anymore, since I go live at, like, fucking 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it. It's fine. Seeing their daughters sn It's not drugs, man! But I- I knew when I- I was like, should I really show that I- enjoy this product on stream because it really does look like something sketchy like when Seer would come over and be like I got that boom boom and he would be like like turn to the side sniffing some shit I was like what is happening man <laughs> it, it looks sketchy as hell oh, I just sniffed some it, it clears my sinuses so well What scent is it? The melon flavor. I mean, scent. <laughs> I've just always said flavor instead of scent, like, as a joke. Ever since, like, middle school. And I, I just love that it just, like, ruins the chat when I do it. <laughs> With, like, when I talk about soap and stuff. <laughs> oh, delicious. Flavor- I know! I know! I just- <laughs> I know, man. Oh. Okay, sorry, I'll stop sniffing. Okay, I probably do have to go soon. Yeah, I have to help move some shit. Shit, man. I'm having a good time. Yeah, bruh. Sag. Yeah, this was nice. Fuck, I wanted to talk more! I don't know. I'm glad I talked, though. I was like, is this a bad idea? To talk about this stuff, but... No, I'm glad I did. I don't think I'll ever talk about it on main, though. Cause, uh... I know a lot of people would be, like, curious about it, but I just don't want it to be, like, a thing that gets talked about super often. <clears throat> what is happening, man? Okay, so, before I go, real talk, how many- how- I- I need to know the capital. How many dollars were fundraised by people selling the alt? Because why are there a thousand people here? The account doesn't even have two thousand followers. <laughs> I gotta know. <laughs> I got a car, oh shit. <laughs> I don't care, though. This is like a, a comfortable amount of people. You leaked it on main. Well, I mentioned that it existed in chat, but 
doesn't matter. When I showed it, when did I show it on stream? Oh, on the emote? Oh. Eh. I, I don't think that many people noticed, but whatever. How many followers did it have last time I streamed on it? Is that 1.3k? 800? Uh, yeah, that's not that many new people. Oh, I refreshed and it's 1.4. That's fine. Hello. I mean, the Soda gets like... Doesn't he still get like 7 or 8k on his ult? That doesn't, that doesn't even feel like an ult at that point. <laughs> 10k, a public alt, uh, I guess. I mean, all alts are, like, kind of public. <laughs> if people want to find it, they will. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'll come help in a second. I'm on my alt. What's up? Yo. Yeah, uh... Take your time. Thanks. No rush. Yeah, we'll move the shit. You gonna move that shit? Don't move that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm currently, um... D just completely... Destroying two of the closets, so we're moving... The shit out of one of the closets into the other one entirely so that the other closet can be used for other things. I take up too much space, man. Have my my old house was a four bedroom house and I used every single room for my cosplay shit. Yes, I, mean, I am perhaps a bit of a hoarder. Okay, I gotta go. It was nice talking though. Uh, we'll do this again soon. Or not. No, nah, I, I will. It actually helped a lot. Because I've been feeling like a little bit disconnected from the community lately. So it's nice to just talk and chill. Helps a lot. Alright, see you guys next time. Have a good evening, y'all. Appreciate you. Bye.